I'm like trying so hard not to put too much on, but this highlight is like, bitch, you thought. Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. So as you guys can see by the title, this is the long awaited Fenty Beauty first impression slash review video. I am going to be using, um, basically the products I got to try create a full face obviously I will be incorporating other products because um she doesn't have she well her first launch wasn't like a full range of product that you could use to create a full face like there's some things missing like there's no mascara no blush etc so I will be using my um own products to fill in the gaps but otherwise everything else is going to be riri so um yeah before I get into this video I just want to announce the giveaway for my previous video if you haven't watched it I did make a favorite highlight highlighters slash whole video um click the link down below if you want to watch it it will probably also pop up at the end of the video so you should watch the video but um i did give away my favorite highlighter which was the bobby brown bronze glow shout out to all the people who guessed correctly and the winner of my giveaway is I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing your name incorrectly, but congratulations, you are the winner. For my giveaway, if you can please just find my email address in the description box and um, send me all your information, like your daytime delivery address, your full names, as well as your contact details, and I will have the parcel shipped out to you ASAP. Let's get into this video. I'm first going to start off by priming my face with my Fenty Beauty Pro Soft Matte Pro Filter Primer, which looks like this. The packaging is very beautiful. I love the color and I also love the matte bottle. I just feel like it looks so elegant and sleek. So I'm going to use that to prime my face. I'm just going to go in with two pumps because you guys know how I am with primer. Got to go all out. Go big or go home. It doesn't have much of a scent to it. So I guess that's a good thing for people with um, sinus like myself. Okay, so now that my face is all well prepped, I'm going to go in with my Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. And I got it in the shade 370. I did watch quite a few reviews before I pur uh, purchased this foundation because I wasn't too sure about my shade. And I just wanted to make sure that I did get the correct shade. And one of my friends did mention, who actually purchased it, she did mention that it does dry a bit darker than your skin. So I'm going to start off with two pounds. This foundation is quite runny. It's quite a runny consistency. Um, so I don't want to let it dry. I want to apply it with a beauty blender. So I'm just going to apply and blend as I go. go. I'm not going to like dab it all over my face as I usually would because I don't want it to set. So, um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, I'm sure you guys have, that the one side of my face is um, quite problematic compared to the other side. So this side is the problematic side. I have quite a lot of scarring on this side and this is the well-behaved side because there's barely any scarring just here towards my ear. So I want to start on this side just to see how good the coverage is. As you can see right now, I'm going into the second layer. It's not full coverage. To be quite honest i think it is medium but i don't know how buildable it is i think i'm gonna need to go in with another layer but let me just do the rest of my face and then i'll come back to the side the foundation doesn't have much of a scent either uh which is good as i mentioned as well with the primer in terms of coverage i do think that the coverage is medium i don't know if it's buildable to full because as you guys can see my scars here i don't know if you guys can see as i come closer i have scars on this side of my face and i don't think they're fully covered i'll see maybe as time goes by and i complete the rest of my face um the coverage will intensify but i don't want to speak on that too soon the foundation feels really good on my skin like it doesn't feel cakey and i actually did put on quite a bit and it's matte you guys like it's very very matte if you have dry skin then this foundation is not ideal for you i'm very sorry i'm always leaving out the ladies with dry skin on my channel so now i'm gonna move on to highlighting and contouring my face i did purchase the matte sticks in the shade honey and truffle these are matte skin sticks, uh, basically concealers. These are creamy concealers, by the way. Let me just show you guys the packaging. I feel like it's so adorable. Um, it, they are magnet magnetic. Magnetic? 
<laughs> whatever so they do stick together and they do have the Fenty Beauty logo there at the top which I think looks really really cute and I absolutely love the color as well and yeah so I'm gonna start off by highlighting my face um, with honey and they roll up like this let's see how much product is this is the only product <laughs> on the tube but I mean it's a cream concealer so a little does go a long way so let me just highlight my face this is very weird for me you guys because I have mentioned in my previous videos that I'm not a fan of cream highlighting it doesn't have the same flawless finish as your liquid concealers like your LA girl HD pro concealer would um, so yeah this is a lot for me but I'm doing it for my girl Riri I don't know if I want to highlight my forehead I really don't know if I want to highlight my forehead. Do I want to highlight? Okay, let me just do it. Ah. Ah. Okay. So that blended in very well with the foundation, which is great. Uh, that's what we want. So now I'm going to move on to contouring. Let me just tell you guys about the smell. Yeah, they smell like any cream concealer. They have like that doughish type of smell. So this is in the shade Truffle and I'm going to be using this to contour my face. Okay, so this is much more difficult to blend than the highlighter was i do not know why but this is an extreme sport Now that I'm done with highlighting and contouring, I'm going to set my concealer, my highlight under my eyes and my smile lines with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder simply because I cannot just leave cream highlighter like this everywhere. It is going to crease and it's just going to look like a mess within the next 20 minutes. So I need to make sure that I set my under eyes. I am not baking. I'm literally just dusting the product onto the areas. Now I'm gonna move on to blush and I'm gonna be using my MAC um, Gingy Lip Blush just to warm up my cheeks. This is the blush that I always use. I'm sure you guys know it by now. My favorite, favorite blush. So I'm going to stick on my lashes and then I will be right back to um, highlight my face. I got this Freestyle Highlighter Duo in Mean Money and Hustler Baby. Hustler Baby is the highlighting shade and it is the one, the top there. Let me just show you guys what it looks like. It has a very pinkish pinkish rose goldy type of highlight and I wanted to use trophy wife but I haven't used this one while well, I tried it yesterday guys look at that look at that I'm shook Girl, Riri. Okay, and I think to compensate for the fact that I didn't use Trophy Wife to highlight, I'm going to use it on my inner corners. And this is what it looks like if you did not watch my favorite highlighters video. And if you haven't, I suggest you go watch it. I'm going to move on to my lips. So I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Lip Gloss to on my lips and I don't want to use it on its own because I feel like it's going to look funny so I'm going to go in with my Mina Cosmetics Longwear Lipstick in the shade Made in Italy 
think that's the shade but it's like a really nice nude and i'm just gonna this is a, i think this is a matte lipstick not too sure it's a really nice pinkish guys i'm such a ratchet bitch i've run out of wipes so i'm using my feminine wipes to clean my fingers as i film <laughs> yeah it is matte mm, it feels so good on the lips okay, so now i'm gonna go in with my lip gloss it smells so good mm, it smells like sweets i don't want to use too much because i don't want it to run so i'm just gonna dab some evenly on the inner part of my lips and then I'll spread it like this. So now I'm gonna set my face with my MAC Fix Plus spray as usual. Okay, so I'm done doing my makeup and I'm just gonna touch on the products a bit, just my experience and how I feel about them so far. So the foundation is looking really, really good, you guys. Like it legit looks like skin. It looks so flawless. Um, the coverage is not full because I can still see some marks here, but otherwise it, it is looking really, really good. It's sitting very well on the skin. I don't think it's 100% matte, like matte, matte, matte. My skin is starting to look a little bit dewy, like that dewiness is coming through, maybe because my room is quite warm and my light is on but I'm not mad about that I honestly do prefer a skin like finish rather than a completely matte finish so I'm very happy with the foundation and also shout out to Rihanna for launching so many shades and accommodating women of color a lot of brands really do struggle with that and then they tune that they'll launch shades um, later but she did very very well and the product is formulated very well so I definitely would recommend this foundation I am in love right now and I do see myself using it again about the matchsticks I'm honestly not too sure if I will use these again I'm not a very I'm not a huge fan of cream highlighting and contouring I do prefer my more liquid concealers like my LA Girl um, concealers as well as a powder to contour my face so I don't really see myself using these again but otherwise for a cream product I'm usually not impressed with cream products because they sometimes do look patchy and untidy I will tell you that these are sitting very well on my skin they do look they don't look patchy or untidy in any form of way the coverage is quite good so I do think that they sit very well on the foundation so if you are someone with dry skin then you can definitely give these a try they are said to be matte as well but I'm not too sure on the matte maybe because my skin is just very oily maybe someone may have a different um, experience I think cream products and the word matte uh, not really because they are very very creamy and thick they, they sort of are bound to end up being dewy on the skin okay the primer is good as well i definitely do see myself using this again and i think it also does work very well with the foundation and now i'm gonna move on to my mean money and hustler baby so i didn't use mean money but i did use hustler baby to highlight my face and it is so pigmented and i was very worried about the sort of like rose gold pinkish color i thought it would look funny on my skin but it looks very very good on the skin you guys like 10 out of 10 this product so pigmented and trophy wife of course i love trophy wife i did use this to um highlight my inner corners i am still nervous about using it as a highlighter but um hopefully i will create a look where i can use this but otherwise i'm very very impressed with her products i also do love the lip gloss it definitely does not feel like other lip glosses you know there's some lip glosses that are very irritating on the lips um, your lips sort of like stick together this um, is amazing it smells great I can barely even feel it and my lips aren't sticking together so I really do like this lip gloss and I think it definitely is also something that you can wear on its own so if you guys want to get your hands on Fenty Beauty products I'm gonna leave a list of different um, channels you can order from down below you can either get the stuff from Sephora if you have access to Sephora you can get them from FentyBeauty.com or you can get them from Muse Beauty but that all depends on where you base and what's most convenient for you i will just leave all that info down below i will also leave product info down below um setting shades and everything of that sort so you can just check the description box for more information i hope you guys did enjoy this video let me know if you've used any um fenty beauty products and what your experience has been don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video and i will see you guys next time Mwah.